let's see how we can add baby entities to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding the BB entities to our raccoon. So basically make it so that we can breed the raccoons together and they are going to get a baby entity. Now, this is actually way easier than you might expect. So especially with GeckoLib, actually. So we are going to need one thing here. So this is going to be in the grid breed offspring method. Currently, we're returning null here. And that's, of course, not what we want. The first thing we want to do is I want to actually click on the parameter names and just press Shift F6 to rename it server level here and then just mob right here. Now, what we want to return is a mod entity types dot raccoon dot get dot create and then passing in the server level parameter. And that is literally all that we need to do right here. We still need to overwrite another method and that is the is food method. And this one determines whether or not the food passed in right here is actually uh, well, a item with which you can breed this particular entity. So what we want to do is pstack.getItem equals, or, you know, equals, equals, and then basically checking whether or not it is equal to the modItems.cucumber.get. So the general idea is that I want to be able to right-click the raccoon entity with a cucumber, and then it should, well, be into love mode, basically. That's the general idea here. And what we also want to add, and this is incredibly important right here, in front of everything as the first if statement, we want to call this the if is food item stack. So the item stack that we right clicked with, right? Then we want to just immediately return the mob interact right here. Otherwise, what's going to happen is that if we have actually a, if we have a already tamed entity, then what might happen is that it, we're basically setting it to sit and stuff like that. And that's not what we want. What we want is we just want to, well, get the rest of the mob interact method to basically work for us. So the super is basically responsible for all of the rest of the stuff with the, you know, making it so that it's in love, the actual entity. So we just want to call it and then be done with it. Now, there's one more thing we need to do in the actual renderer class, and that is in the get render type method. So once again, I'm actually going to copy this over. It's incredibly easy to understand. So you can see, we're basically just saying, hey, if this particular raccoon entity that we're rendering is a baby, then we're just going to scale it to 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. And if it's not, then we're going to scale it to 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Meaning that every baby is going to be half as half the size uh, as a an adult, basically. That is literally all that we're doing right here. So yeah, that's pretty much all that there is to it. I highly recommend doing this as well. It's, it looks well, you know way better and the scaling actually works really well. And that is literally all that we need to do for the actual well entity to be able to spawn a baby entities. All right, we need another thing in the register goals actually, and that is the breed goal. So we're just gonna copy this over quickly so you can see this is the breed goal. And this is just going to, well, basically make it so that the different uh, animals are going to breed together. Now we can actually also take a look at, just for the sake of argument, in the tameable entity subclasses, actually in the animal subclasses under the cow, for example. Uh, what you can do also is the tempt goal and then it's going to follow you if you have this particular ingredient in your hand that is also something that you could do uh, we're not going to add this at the moment but you know this is also something that you could add as well so now after we've added everything let's see if it works all right so we find ourselves in micro that's actually spawned two new ones so those are not tamed we can still breed them though as you can see there they go and there it is a baby entity <laughs> isn't it cute that's really funny and we can still uh, tame this one though. Like if I actually hit it, there you go. You can actually get it. And then if I get two of them and I breed them, like I actually tame them before and then breed them together, that also works. So that is something that you can do. And there you go, another baby entity. And those should not be able to be bred. So as you can see, I can right click it, but you don't get the hearts because of course they are baby entities, so they can't breed just yet. So that's how easy it is to add a custom baby entity to Minecraft. Right, that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.